uh, within five days of birth, they require blood if they have a problem. So, when you give that blood, that one unit can actually save five people. Why deposit it? Because deposited blood gives us time to prepare it in what we call testing. But when you give it to us in a rush, because you have been called, because of a relative, because of an emergency, there are shortcuts. Shortcuts are really short cutting one's life, one's quality of life. So being a permanent and regular blood donor will ensure a smooth running of the operation. Within Kenyatta National Hospital itself, daily we require about 150 units of blood. And that is just red cells. If you are to take another part of blood, they require three times that, the part that we call platelets. Another will require no less than seven different donors to have sufficient number of platelets to be given. So, my fellow Kenyans, the best we can do is to be blood on. From here, do you respect the summer? Be a blood donor. I'll end by saying, and quoting Mother Teresa, whom all of you know, that a life not lived for others is not a jail. The last one, when somebody asked Jesus, Lord, when did we see hungry and the, when did we see you hungry and we gave you food? When did we see you naked and we clothed you? You know the answer. As you do it unto others, so you do it unto me. So be you the advocate for blood donation. Thank you very much, and also.